So you're thinking to yourself, gee Ben, what is it like to take a 1989 Ford Probe GT Turbo to a car show? And I'm like, hey dude, let me tell you how. So we're the day before, we're gonna go to the Donalda car show. That's uh, probably about a half an hour north of here. Unfortunately, we gotta do a little bit of gravel, but we gotta get our car ready for it. Now, honestly, it's been parked here in the Quonset for probably two to three weeks, just sitting here taking up space. Uh, but unfortunately, because of all this said gravel, it's probably got a layer of dust on it. Let's take a peek. So by the looks of the sunlight hitting the thing, absolutely. I guess technically for the channel, I should do that instead. Cool, so we gotta wash this thing because uh, well, you don't technically have to take it to a car show all pretty and clean, uh, never hurts, right? So we want to get that, this car there. So let's go ahead and drive it over there and we'll give her your old washeroo. Well, that went worse than expected, mostly because my camera filled up. So I'm like, ah, crap. So that was me rinsing the car off. We did wash it, so she's washed now, but she's wet. So we'll time lapse you uh, twice here. Chamois it dry, go do some stuff, come back throw a light coat of wax on it and uh, prep the tires, maybe do a little inside cleaning, clean the windows and stuff like that. And we should be ready to go. It's not that dirty, so it's, it's not too much prep work to go. Alrighty, so <laughs> a lot of time has passed, but we got it waxed, wa we got it washed, the windows washed, waxed, uh, did some work on the black rubber and stuff like that, so we're, we're good to go for tomorrow. Uh, we're leaving around 8.45ish, so we'll throw some stuff in the back and we'll get on out of here and head on up to Donaldo. Well, good morning. It's the day of the show, <clears throat> so we're, uh, we've got our car ready, which we did last night mostly. Um, so at this point we're going to start her up and we got about four miles of gravel to drive on so we'll go as slow as we can on that and then we'll whip on up to Donalda. Give me a nice start here though before we hit the show. It's nice the fan works, let me tell you, that, that's handy. Oh, I was almost, almost forgot I need a radio transmitter for here so I can at least listen to the radio on the way there and back. It's about 45 minutes so might not run it on the way up there but probably will run it on the way back. Here we are in Donalda. Interesting way, usually you can park your car and then register, but I guess they're making us line up in a row. So, nice cars here. Love the van. Hope that's an entry. I'd like to talk to the new stuff. Got some old stuff too, so it looks like it'll be all right. We're a little early. It's probably 10 minutes before the show starts. All right, and there we are. A couple more cars lined up. No, doesn't seem like an overly big, big show. But uh, not much set up for us to do. Probably we'll dust off the car a little bit. Get our show sign shut. Our show sign out. And I'm always leaving the keys in this thing because I never take them out at home. Let's kind of put that there. This sign here, it's something my wife made up pretty much goes over what the car is because a lot of people look at this thing and they're like what the heck is it so just you know it's a 89 ford pro actually it doesn't say gt on it anywhere but it probably should people can see it on the car it just tells the engine what it's got first generation first model year that sort of tidbit stuff 
Uh, it's one of 16,000 here in Canada, and then kind of follow the Instagram. The sticker's also on the car there too, so. Well, uh, oh, look at that, I hate the gravel. I'll have to dust that off and we'll be going. So car prep is complete. Matter of just, uh, because of all that gravel I had to drive on, you gotta pretty much quick wax the, the dust off of it. Uh, throw some tire shine on the wheels. Probably ought to hit the wheel wells inside a little bit better. Uh, always embarrassing to find the car in the sunlight because I, whoops, I totally missed that recorder there. Um, washing and waxing this thing in a dark closet, probably not the <laughs> brightest idea, but we've already kind of gone through the car once for sure. So uh, I like to lay out my brochures. So that's all the new car stuff that actually came out of the parts car. And then I got my service manual. You'd be surprised how many people comment on the service manual. It's a little crazy. Uh, wiped all the dirt off her butt. Throw my chair underneath there because I'm probably going to go socialize for a little bit. Um, but she pres presents nice. Fine trip over to the show. Uh, no issues at all. In fact, she's a stump puller, I'll be honest with you. Uh, there are some hills that other cars like to downshift on that no need. A turbo just kicks the boost gauge up a little bit and away you go. We got the cool little um, for those of you who aren't following the home game this is called Tyler's Nightmare Tyler actually works at Napa one of the guys who's had to dig around to find parts for this thing because it's one of those cars where it falls into the realm of it is uh, new but not new enough to have parts and old but not old enough to have any sort of industry follow it so it's kind of one of those hard cars to do so uh, with that I'll conclude my part and we'll probably do a walk down and uh, take a look at a couple other cars. So for those of you that really aren't into car shows, here's just a kind of a, a quick overlink of, or overview, I guess, of the typical layout of a car. The most important message I like to relay to people is just bring it. I mean, it doesn't matter if you got a new car or an old car or a middle of the road car, wash the darn thing and bring it here. And that way people can look at it. And even better, you can talk to people who have had one or have one and, you know, do all sorts of cool stuff and, and see all the neat things here. Usually car shows, participants are free. Sometimes it's the other way, but uh, usually it's that you're free to get in. So you bring what you have and you talk to other car people about car stuff or you don't know anything about cars. You know, you can have a, a beautiful car and not know anything about it, but car shows are more about people more than anything and you all typically have some sort of passion together. So, you know, from newer challengers over to, you know, cool little homemade things. It's, it's really something that's interesting to see and to do. So I love car shows just for that. The probe kind of gave me an interest back into it just cause it's a kind of a weird car to do, to see and, and you know, to work with. So, but everyone has something cool and unique and you don't see every day. So. Even if you want to go to a car show, I find it's hard to go and not participate just because I've been in so many, but it's a thing. But that's uh, similar to what most cars look like. There's usually a vendor area and stuff like that, and the town's usually got something going on, and so it's a fairly, fairly neat place to go. There's a whole other row of trucks there, but I won't bore you with that. Fortunately, one of the things about car shows is that they just kind of keep going and going, so probably have an hour to go up in here about three hours I actually haven't been with the car during that time so many other cool cars to see and look at people to talk to and stories and cars and it's just fun here so I just kind of bring a chair <laughs> sit at the back and if someone's interested they'll talk to you or if they're a bunch of talking about stuff you can come out because hopefully you know a little bit about your car you don't have to but uh, cars like this it's nice to know this and that whatever so just kind of keep hanging out and uh, soon we'll be on our way home. And that's it. I kind of forgot to film the last uh, part where you're actually, uh, they all gather around and they announce the winners. Uh, if you drive a new car, you, you will never be a winner unless it's brand spanking new. Um, but yeah, that's car showing. So I'll just run a quick slideshow of what actually was there. If you guys have any questions on car shows and stuff, feel free to ask them. Comments like you like to go to them, great. And we'll catch you next time.